Hello everybody, welcome to this Crypto Quality Signals tutorial video. Today we are going to talk about uh, Tricomas and DCA bolts. So if you are trading on Tricomas, this video is for you. If you are not, maybe you can consider, since Tricomas is a great platform with uh, nice support for our signals and of course signals from several other companies uh, we are going to cover uh, only the DCA boats today Tricomas offers a wide range of uh, trading tools including this new signal boat which is still in beta but also the grid boat which is amazing and the smart trade interface that allows you to trade manually with uh, high uh, flexibility, lots of options. But today we are going to com to focus on DCA Bolt, which is probably the most used tool in Tricomas platform. Uh, here we are using our demo account, so uh, we are not going to to choose exchange, but th this that's the only difference regarding this tutorial. And uh, Let's start by uh, going to the DCA Boat page and here we are going to create a DCA Boat. Okay? Before jumping into the settings, you should understand what DCA means. Okay? If you are not familiar with DCA, uh, I recommend you to, to do a Google search about it. There are lots of resources online explaining in more detail. But basically, DCA is a, a strategy that is used uh, for investment and also uh, for other things like, uh, like betting. <laughs> that that consi cons uh, consists on uh, investing more funds when you lose. Uh, so when you win, you make uh, you recover your losses. Okay, this is the basic principle. So, for example, on betting, if you uh, if you throw uh, the dice and you don't win, you double you double your stake and try again and double again until you win. This way, you uh, compensate your losses and make uh, make profit. So it's, it considers in investing more funds, of course, and risking, risking more money. So uh, there are risks involved and you should consider them uh, seriously because uh, when you have a loss using DCA, the loss is much bigger. So uh, anyway, the DCA boats can be used without DCA. So we are going to cover all this during this tutorial. Uh, here we are going to choose uh, classic trading, okay? Because we want to configure our boat ourselves. Uh, in in uh, the real account, you have other choices there, uh, but we really recommend you to go to the, the full settings so you can customize your boat the best way you can, okay? Okay, let's get started. Uh, before jumping into the settings, I, I would make a disclaimer that uh, uh, this video is, is here for educational purposes only. We, are, we don't provide uh, financial advice and uh, you should consider any settings shown here as examples, not recommendations, okay? you are the only responsible for your trading strategy and your results so uh, also we don't provide any any guarantees about our signals not about not about any results you may get by trading with them it's very important to make that clear you are responsible for your wins and your losses okay okay guys let's let's get started okay uh, here, uh, normally, you can choose your exchange, but uh, as I told you, we are on the demo account, so I have only one choice for exchange. It's like a Binance exchange, but it's virtual. Uh, I can 
uh, create a boat for a single pair that means it will only trade a single asset here in this case ethereum on usdt base or multi-pair where you can choose the the coins you are going to trade with okay for uh, for trading with signals uh, most people will choose multi-pair but it, it depends on the three comma subscription you have some subscription don't include the multi-pair option anyway once you choose multi-pair here you can clear the selection and choose your coins here so for example you can either choose manually the coins you want to trade or you can choose these shortcuts here for all assets on usdt or all asset on btc etc okay to make things easier for understanding i will choose usdt all so uh, the the interface fill it this dialog here with all coins available for usdt trading uh, uh, if you want you can remove some if you don't like them but i will keep them here so let's jump into the strategy session in in the strategy session you are going to choose uh, how much funds are you going to invest in your boat okay so uh, here i can choose the base order size that means how much money you are going to to invest in your trade and maximum active deals how many trades at most you want to have in your boat okay so for this demo this tutorial i will use 10 active deals with 20 usdt uh, per per deal okay in this box here the interface is showing me that this boat can use up to 1038 usdt from my funds so uh, it's something uh, weird because i i use i'm using 20 usdt times 10 trades so it should be 200 right to, uh, uh, 200 but why why do i have this here because we are talking about dca boat and by default the dca boat brings this safety orders session with some defaults here so we are going to just zero the maximum number of safety orders so we can continue to set our boats without safety orders before we explain these settings okay so now we are going to expand 200 usdt because we are investing 20 usdt per trade and we have have configured our boats to have at most 10 active deals 10 active trades okay good so my strategy here can be long or short but short only applies to futures and margin trading so in this case i am on spot trading so doesn't make sense to choose charge that's why it's disabled okay and i can choose to, to take profit on my base my quote currency which is usdt or my base currency which is the the coin i'm trading all over this this quote currency uh, the, by default it will take profit on your base currency or quote currency by uh, three commas uh, lingo uh, okay uh, i can choose the start order type here market or limit if you are not familiar with this difference you should study about it because it's basic on trading but i can explain it here uh, when you choose market uh, that means your buy order is placed at market price that means it, it is placed at the, the current price for the symbol and uh, most of the time uh, with hair uh, exceptions uh, that means your trade will successfully be started because you are buying at market price so it doesn't matter what the price is you are entering the trade but if you choose to use limit price then your base your buy order will be placed at the signal issued price and it will only succeed if the the asset reaches that price otherwise you may not, not succeed into opening your trade so uh, to make things easier i will use market price but it's up to you to decide either to use market or limit here uh, the reinvest profit 
feature is something a little bit new on three commas but it's a uh, it's a advanced feature that allow you to reinvest the profit okay so it's up to you to decide i will disable this for my boat but you you can keep it if you want to reinvest your profit in your trades let's talk about the deal start condition with something very important deal start condition is what makes your boat start a trade okay so whenever this condition is met your boat will start a trade otherwise no trades will be done so it's important that you set your deal start condition correctly that's the place where you choose the signals you are going to use or other possible conditions because you can also start trades based on other conditions either signals from trading view even uh, the crypto screener on trading view that uh, that provides buy and sell signals or other uh, technical indicators like uh, rsi bollinger bands etc okay so if you are familiar with the uh, technical indicators you can try to use those indicators otherwise you can choose a signal that matches your strategy uh, cqs scalping is one of the the, the first signal services on Tricomas. that's why it's not available on the marketplace but it's for sure available for you to use and uh, it's a good service so we provide for free and uh, down below here you can see other services from cqs like cqs premium signals cqs beast mode and crypto quality signal which is our free swing trading signal service for this demonstration for this tutorial i will use the crypto quality signals good so now that we have chosen our deal start condition you can even combine more than one deal start and condition if you want okay so let's suppose you want to use crypto quality signals but you also want to use rsi that's not a problem you can use your rsi and in this uh, configuration here it will only trigger a trade if rsi is less less than 30 which means it's oversold uh, but just taking into consideration that if you combine several conditions here your trade will only start if all conditions are met okay so uh, the more the more, more conditions you add you're less likely to have trades starting okay that's why I'm going to keep just the crypto quality signals here, but you are free to combine other deal starting conditions. Uh, about taking profit, okay? Uh, you can uh, take profit uh, based on percentage or conditions, okay? You can even use uh, TradingView crypto screener or other conditions to, to take profit. Uh, that means, for example, if, if uh, TradingView is recommending to sell the asset, you can take profit and close your trade, okay? Uh, or you can just take profit when your target gets hit. For, for example, I want to take profit whenever I'm 1.50% on profit. So that's good for me, okay? Uh, here I can choose if I want to take profit from total volume or from base order only. Of course, it, this only applies for DCA. But if you are using DCA, I highly recommend to use percentage from total volume. Uh, that, that means you will take advantage of uh, price variations when you add your DCA orders. Here you can also enable trailing. That means that whenever your target gets hit, instead of taking profit, uh, Tricomas Bot will start to monitor the price, to follow the price, and only take profit when the price drops by that much. That means if the price is going up very fast, which happens very often in crypto, you take advantage of this movement and only take profit when the price starts to go down. This way you, you get much more profit in your trades. It's a, a very nice uh, setting here. So for example, here I will put 0 0.3, that means whenever the price drops by 0 0.3%, 30, 0 0.30%, it, uh, it will uh, take profit and close the trade, okay? Let's talk about stop loss and safety orders. I, I, I choose to take about them in the same moment, 
because the, it's something very important that you understand how they uh, they work uh, together. In fact, uh, they don't work very well together. <laughs> Because stop loss means you want to protect yourself from heavy losses. So whenever your trade uh, goes south, go down by a given percentage, you just want to close the trade and, and get off the trade to pro protect your, your money. Okay? So it's a good setting for trading, but it also means that you lose money eventually when uh, the market goes down. So, for example, if you want to support like 5% loss in, in, in your trades, this setting is good for you. Or, for example, if you want to limit to 3%, no problem. Just, just, just hear the, how, many, how much percent you, you want to limit your losses per trade, and uh, it will work very well. Uh, after the I stop loss happens, you can choose what action should be taken. Just close the deal or also stop your boat. Why there is such setting? Because uh, you, you can, for example, try, uh, want to protect you from entering new trades when the market goes down. Let's suppose, for example, Bitcoin is dumping, most prices are dropping, uh, one of your trades hit stop loss. Probably is not a good time to start new trades, right? So you can just stop the boat for safety and then whenever you want you get you can start it manually again uh, of course i'm not recommending you to use this i'm just explaining how this works okay uh, you also have the trailing stop loss which is a very nice setting uh, with trailing stop loss as the price moves up the stop loss also moves up okay so uh, if if the market reverses and you hit stop loss, you probably lose less once you started to raise before. But it also means that sometimes you have your trades closed earlier than you want. So make sure you understand how this works before enabling it. I'm not going to use on this tutorial. And we also have the, the stop loss timeout. That means whenever your stop loss is hit, you can choose to wait a little longer to confirm the price is, is still moving down before closing your trade at loss. It may mean you will lose more, but also mean that you uh, will avoid closing a trade when, when the price just goes down a little bit and recovers. So it's a good settings. Uh, the default, by default, it uses 300 seconds, which is like five minutes. You can adjust here, for example, for two minutes if you want or you can disable it if you don't want to use okay here i have the risk reduction it's also another uh, nice feature i will also disable this for my boat uh, and uh, why i told you that stop loss doesn't work very well with safety order because uh, when you use safety orders that means you are going to invest more funds when prices go down right so your investment on that trade is increasing. So if you hit stop loss, you will lose much more money than if you're not using safety orders, if you're not using DCA, right? So using stop loss with DCA is very dangerous because you are actually increasing your loss when your stop loss get hit. So you should think very well uh, before enable both settings. In general, we recommend you to either use a stop loss or use safe trade, safety orders. Okay, no, don't enable both. But of course, it's up to you if you want to risk more funds and still accept this loss. Okay, so right now I will disable stop losses. Let's play a little bit with safety order settings. As I told you before, uh, safety orders or DCA uh, is investing more funds when your trade is going down, is going south. Uh, so you average down your entry price, reduce your loss, and uh, man manage to make more fraud profits when the price recovers. So it's a good strategy, but this requires you to have much more funds to, to invest 
and also requires you to have much more patience because sometimes trades with TCA may take much more time to get to your target, okay? So it's up to you to enable or not those features. How do you enable uh, safety, safety, safety orders? By setting the max safety orders count. If you are using at least one here, so it's enabled, okay? Here, it's already enabled. And you can see that once I enable it here, let me this, look at here. My investment for this vote is 200 USDT. If I put one single safety trade here, it's now 350 USDT. Okay. Why? Because I, I have set the vote for 10 max, max trades and I'm investing 15 more on uh, safety order. The single safety order I have here. Okay. Let's suppose uh, I want to invest 40 instead, okay? So now my safety order size is 40 and my investment raises it to 600 USDT, okay? What happens if I put two safety order here? Now I, my investment went up to 1,280 USDT. So as you can see, the investment for the boat will raise very fast if we start to play with those settings, okay? Uh, what about this safety order volume scale? What is, is this about? This is a multiplier applied to the to your safety order size to establish the, the investment for the next safety order, next step, right? So for example, if I put here a two factor, now we go to 1400 USDT for the total investment for the, this boat because I'm, I'm multiplying by two whenever I go to the next step. Let's suppose I want to use up to, to three safety order. Now my investment went up to 3000 USDT for a single boat. Okay, so you should be very wise while playing with these settings or even enable safety, enabling safety orders, because your total risk increases a lot, very easily, okay? Here I have the step scale. Step scale is a multiplier applied to the percentage here. And this percentage here is how much percent the price must go down before I, I enter a new safety order. So let's suppose I just I only want to use safety order if price is price go down if price goes down by three percent. So here I put three percent as my price deviation to open safety orders, okay? But my step scale here is four. That means that my three safety orders will cover a drop up to sixty three percent on price. But maybe I don't want to cover that much because if the price goes down by 63%, I, want to, I, I don't want to be on this trade anymore. So I can just change the, it here. For example, a step scale of two will reduce my support to 21% drop, which is still a lot, <laughs> okay? And here I can also adjust maximum active safety orders count, okay? It's just technical. It's just about how, how many safety order will be place it in advance to the exchange. If you let this at one, three commas will place one order and we only place the others as needed, okay? But it's probably a good a good thing to to pre-allocate the funds to your trade. So you, you leave this equals this, this other one here, okay? That's what I want to say about the safety order settings. Here we have the advanced settings. Most of the time I wouldn't I recommend you to touch them, okay, because they are advanced and you only should touch them if you really understand what you're doing, okay? We receive lots of uh, contacts on support for people uh, asking for help because their boats are not trading or things like that. And we, most of the time, users just touch here without knowing what they are doing. So I will try to explain a little bit, but remember, don't touch unless you know exactly what you're doing. 
don't start deal if daily volume is less than a number and BTC, okay? Uh, what is this about? Uh, sometimes you don't want to trade coins with low volume because coins with low volume are more subject to manipulation, are more subject to pumps and dumps, things like that, and they are, of course, more risky for trading. So how, do you, how can you avoid trading such coins? It's very simple. Go to your exchange page, okay? Check the markets session there, order by volume descending, and you see which are the trading volume for most coins. And there you, you can have an idea of how much is trading volume for the, the good coins you want to trade. That's very simple, okay? So, uh, unless you have taken uh, your research carefully, don't, don't feel anything here, otherwise your boat will not, will not trade. Also remember that the value here is expressed on BTC, not USDT. So perhaps you may have to uh, do some calculations or conversion to put the right value here, okay? Uh, minimum price to open a deal maximum price to open a deal so it's very self-explanatory okay so if you don't want to trade for example uh, any coin with price below 50 cents just put it here it will ignore any any price below 50 cents okay here uh, i am using usdt so the price will be on usdt of course if you are trading on BTC, the price will be on BTC, okay? Uh, same thing for maximum price. Cool down between deals. What is this? This is uh, a time in seconds that your boat should wait before opening a new trade, okay? By default, it's 300. That means it won't open a new trade before five minutes have been passed since the last trade was opened, but maybe you don't want this. So you can just put here 30 seconds or 10 seconds, I don't know. And your boat will be able to open as much, uh, trade is as much fast as, I, as, as possible. But if you want to cool it down, five minutes is a good, good period of time, okay? Here you have open X deals and stop. So let's suppose you want to test your boat for a while. You can, for example, just ask it to perform 50 trades and stop. Then you can check your results, see if it's okay, if you, have, if you can improve it, I don't know. So if you want to, your boat to automatically stop after a given number of trades, that's the, the place to set it up. And here, uh, simultaneous deals prepare. Uh, let's suppose you have an open uh, trade for USDT Ethereum, and you got a new signal for USDT Ethereum. Do you want your bots to open a new trade? Probably not. So that's why it's set to one, and you should probably leave that way. But if you want to allow your boat to open more than one trade for the same coin, you can increase it here, okay? There is another two settings here, very interesting. Uh, auto convert new deals to smart trade. So if you enable this, okay, uh, three commas will automatically create a smart trade instead of a both both deal whenever your both both detects that uh, a new trade should be started. It's something very good because uh, in a smart trade interface you can set multiple targets. You can you can adjust the stop loss settings like uh, move to break even when target gets hit. So you have much more advanced features, but you, it, it, this, it, all, it will also re require more time from you because you, you must uh, take a look at your deals, at your, at your trades, adjust them, monitor them, etc. So if you are, if you are some, someone that likes to manually trade, based it on your boats trades that's a good setting here and finally you have the close deal after timeout so let's suppose you want your boat to automatically close 
deals after three days, for example. So after three days, if your trade didn't hit target, you want it to close. Uh, it's not something I would advise because if your trades are on loss, they will be closed on loss. That means you lose money. But uh, it will also keep your uh, tra open trades to a minimum. So uh, if you like this, you can enable this setting. I won't do it. And now I will just adjust my uh, bolt name here. So uh, I will I call it uh, demo bolt. And then I can start it so it can start trading. That is, that's it, guys. That's how you create a DCA bolt on three commas. I hope this tutorial was good for you. I hope it, it uh, clarified uh, your doubts, your questions. Of course, if it didn't, you can you can uh, contact us on support by email at support at cryptoqualitysignals.com, on Telegram at cryptoqualitysignals. On Discord, you can find our uh, Discord server link on our website at cryptoqualitysignals.com. And uh, we are here to help you. So feel free to, to talk to us. Uh, thanks for viewing this video at, up to the end. Uh, if you if you like it, uh, just show it by clicking the like button and subscribe to our channel so we can notify you when new contents like this is posted. Okay, thank you very much. Take care, guys. Bye bye.